I slept really well last night. For the first time, I did not wake up at 4.30 in the morning. After we drop the people off at Silver Dollar City, I have some uh, errands to make. I have to actually take the bus to a fuel station and get it refueled for the trip back tomorrow. So I won't be staying with them at Silver Dollar City, at least not for the beginning portion. We'll see how I feel after uh, we get the bus refueled. But uh, let's go down and get some breakfast first because today's not gonna happen on an empty stomach. pre-tripped it is 8 30 today we're going to silver dollar city silver dollar city is a theme park there's roller coasters there's uh tours there's all kinds of different rides and it's huge and it's also built into the side of a mountain as well as a cave in fact one of the attractions in this theme park is you get to go really deep down into a cave and i think there's a ride down there we're gonna drop them off they're gonna be there till two so afterwards we're gonna go to a gas station and fill up the bus because uh, that's just something we don't want to have to do on the way home. We might go back into the theme park and go for a roller coaster ride or I don't know maybe come back to the hotel and take a nap. That does sound appealing. We'll play it by ear after the refueling uh, and see what we want to do. We're gonna pull up and uh, get ready for the passengers to board. On my mind. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome aboard. Hi to Silver Dollar City. And it's going to be a beautiful day. I think the high today is 84 or 85. So, a little bit of a heat factor, but there's tons of shade here. That's why I love this theme park. There's so much shade. The week, maybe I'm just afraid of being alone. Well, I don't. Cause right now I feel the love that we said we would burn Oh, I know that you feel it too I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that That you miss me Stop sign is, sir. Yeah. Make a right hand turn okay. and go down the hill to A West. Okay. Bus and RV parking. Now, what I might do is I'm going to go get some fuel for the bus. Go right ahead. And when I come back, do I swing the, through this loop again? Nope. Once you come back, okay. instead of going to that stop sign, making right, uh -huh. after you come back, you, you want to make a left. Okay. Then when my group's ready to go, I'll just come back here and. You pick up right here. Yep. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome, sir. Whew. We just pulled up to Silver Dollar City. Uh, passengers are still on board. They don't open until 9.30, and I got them here 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So once they get off, I'm gonna go get my chores done. 
uh, which means refuel the bus, getting the restroom dumped because I want them to have a nice, fresh smelling, fully fueled motor coach on the way home because I'm just that kind of bus driver. I'm excited because not only are there roller coaster rides here, I'm looking forward to the food because supposedly there's like a lot of different food selections here. So a couple items on the checklist as far as food is the bread pudding, which uh, somebody said uh, is a must try with the cream sauce. So sounds a little heavy, but when in Rome, right? Whenever I'm at a place like this, I always look for giant smoked turkey legs. I'm not sure if they exist here. Nobody's said anything about them. It's definitely something I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for because I like giant turkey legs. There's one of the trams. I don't think that's the driver doing the talking. Okay, so I figured out the guy who is doing the talking on this thing. The driver sits up there. There's a little guy back there that sits in a little booth that does the talking. That's really cool. I want that job. Hi Bill, we'll see you around. Okay guys, passengers are off. We're gonna go refuel this thing. Let's do it. not what I expected. I was thinking of like one of those giant truck stops that they have just for truckers but except just for motor coaches. I was actually looking forward to like going into a gift shop maybe to find things that are uh, just for motor coach operators but it's just a service center I think. So uh, they have a bus being washed in there right now so we're gonna have to go back up there to get refueled and then uh, once you get refueled they should have an open bay and We'll get our washroom dumped and then uh, see you about the rest of our day. I got diesel all over me. They don't make motor coaches where the diesel pump will stay in the nozzle. Also, this pump only allows you to get $100 worth of diesel at a time. So I've done it twice now, still not full. So we're gonna do it a third time. All right, round number four. I'm kind of frustrated right now. The pump splattered me with diesel. I lost the fuel receipt. The stupid thing only gives you $100 worth of diesel and you have to keep redoing it. So I had to do, do four separate transactions and I lost one of the uh, diesel receipts. I think I found it. And I'm gonna reek of diesel for the rest of the day. I got me some pH balanced water. I don't know what that means. I don't really care. I just wanted something with a sports top so that I could access it easier. But of course, it takes some skill to get these open. Mmm, pH balanced. All right, let's go back down there and get ourselves uh, a bathroom dump. Okay. Well, appreciate it, sir. You're welcome. Yeah, take care, Nate. You too. Have a good one. You too, buddy. Oh. 
All right, let's get out of here. We just got the bus parked, shut everything off. I'm waiting in this little bus waiting place, tram pickup. I'm gonna go look for some turkey legs. They got you doing everything. Hey, thanks a lot, man. You have a good day. I feel like we just went through the airport. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Can I help you find anything? Where are the turkey legs? Oh, turkey legs. <laughs> On your left, across from time travel. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it, sir. <laughs> Priorities. On the turkey legs. Hi, can I get a turkey leg? Uh, yeah, let's do it with beans. Okay, turkey leg and beans. Really Thank you. Beans. This turkey leg is just falling apart as I was trying to take pictures of it. A, a chunk already fell. I'm gonna do a pro move. Dip the turkey leg into the baked beans. That's basically beans and barbecue sauce. Cheers, guys. The best part of the turkey leg is the back end. All the fat and the skin is back here. Tastes like Thanksgiving. Right, turkey leg check. Um, I'm gonna look for that bread pudding that Dennis was telling me about. Where would the bakery be? Eva. Yeah. Straight down. Straight down that way. Thank you. I'll do a bread pudding with the with the with the sauce. Doesn't it comes with some? Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Hey guys, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm, I'm gonna try to talk real softly because there's some people around me, but I, I finally found the bread pudding. It's at this uh, little bakery place. And uh, I was told to ask for the uh, extra icing, so I did. Okay, so initial thoughts. Um, if you have to do a lot of driving, this is not something you're gonna wanna eat, uh, at least not all of it, because it's, it's gonna put you to sleep. It's really heavy, but it's delicious. And you definitely need the uh, extra icing sauce because by itself it's it's not super sweet, but it's really dense. Uh, and I think the the lady inside said that they make these by using their uh, they, they they grind up their cinnamon rolls. It is 12:37. We gotta have the bus back out front by two o'clock, so that gives me an hour and a half. I learned something about this place. It's really easy to get lost here because the park's huge, but the way to find yourself out is if you're going uphill, you're on your way out. If you're going downhill, you're going deeper into the park. That's that's the trick I learned as far as uh, how to navigate this place. Um, but I did go in pretty far and I'm not sure I'm gonna have time to ride any of the rides because the lines are so long. Part of being a bus driver, I gotta think of my passengers first and I definitely don't wanna do anything to uh, delay them so uh, I'm gonna wrap up here and then we're gonna uh, find our way back to the bus get it started cool down and make sure we're up front by 2 p.m. so
currently 2.30 at 6.45. We have to be uh, back in front of the hotel for the people to board for the show. So I'm gonna go up in the hotel room and just lay in bed and watch some movies. That sounds really good right now. I'm gonna offload some footage because I don't like doing it late at night. My heart We're on our own till about 6.30. So I think we're gonna take the bus and go find us some sushi, cause I want some sushi for dinner. I don't think anyone's joining me, so I'll be on my own. I found a sushi restaurant that looks good, but there's no bus parking. But across the street from it is a Walmart, which uh, usually makes for great bus parking. <laughs> criticize my parking job there's a reason I park like this one obviously I'm too long to fit in a single spot but the reason I park crooked like this and uh, I always make sure I leave just barely an open one spot in front is because that way no one can block me in I mean no one in their right mind well hopefully will try to fit in this spot and park with all those other spots but you'd be surprised uh, how dumb people can be um, but this way, it doesn't matter who parks behind me, I'm not going to need to back up at all to get out. All I have to do is uh, swing left. I should clear this corner. There's a reason for my madness. A little bit of parking school 101 there for bus drivers before we eat, but let's go get food. I'm hungry. It's like playing Frogger. The things I will do for sushi. Definitely some soft shell crab. 20 piece sashimi combo with soup and salad. So take a go. Science Amphitheaters. Am I in my own video? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. You know, I cave under pressure. I go, oh shoot, what am I supposed to say? Go in these main doors right here, turn to your right. The entrance C is over here to the right. Also on the right, we have restrooms, concessions, gift shops, everything you folks need. <laughs> So this is the Sight and Sound Theater. Uh, it is a beautiful place with great scenery. Look at this. Passengers just got off. Uh, we're gonna go figure out where to park the bus. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Good. So, a little bit of a fan. I, oh. I <laughs> this is Jerry from Village Travel. Yes, Where hi. are you out of? Out of Wichita. So yeah, he, he showed me some of your videos and <laughs> I, I think they're great. <laughs> well, thanks. We leave tomorrow morning. Me too. Do you? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, well, hey, safe hey, travels, man. Nice. Yeah, nice, to, nice meet you. to meet you. Yes. Be safe. I will. Wonderful trip. <laughs> Toodles.